Hey Randy, did you see the SpaceX launch last week? I watched it on TV, sort of hoping it would be like that iconic moment in 1969 that we both missed due to not having been born yet. However, it was incredibly underwhelming. It was hard to really care about this so-called achievement, and as time went on, I started to realize what was missing. This was no giant leap for mankind. This was a giant leap for one specific man, Elon Musk. SpaceX is a private, for-profit company, and while NASA has long worked closely with the private sector, this really seals the deal for us giving up on our space capabilities, abdicating space flight to the capitalists who will no doubt build a future where space becomes the playground of aristocrats. For me, the promise of the final frontier has long represented a second chance for mankind. When I feel like the problems here on Earth are too entrenched in our society to ever overcome, I can look up at the stars and think, up there, we can start fresh. SpaceX and the like make it clear that we'll never get that fresh start. Instead of space being a place to take humanity's best ideas and build a new society without the burdens of our unjust history, we're choosing to launch our political, racial, economic, and religious divisions into space to make space in our own image rather than in a better one. For now, we do have the International Space Station, which this LEGO set is modeled after. It has been a symbol of global cooperation, putting the pursuit of knowledge above petty diplomatic squabbles. But the ISS might only have about 10 years of service left, and what will replace it? If we don't change direction, it'll likely be replaced with a glorified space mall, owned and operated by Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, not for the betterment of mankind, but for the betterment of their bank account. I hope something will change. I hope a new generation will have loftier goals and not only desire better for humanity, but demand it. As we step onto that final frontier, let's do so boldly with the desire and the resolve to bring only the best humanity can offer. It won't be easy, but going to the moon wasn't either. See you soon.